What's up, my friend? We're going to talk about how to meditate properly. Now, before I ever even learned about meditation and got into it, I remember searching online and it was like, light a candle, sit in a very dim lit room, make sure there's no distractions. And that does work, and that's really nice, but unnecessary. What's also unnecessary are gyms, a nice place to sit. I think I already said that. It's unnecessary. Proper meditation is simply becoming aware of that which is not you in this 3D reality. That's it. That's totally it. I'm walking right now, as you can see, walking through a school. I love the school. I like walking meditation. I walk a lot. I'm simply aware of my thoughts, of my breath, of my feet hitting the pavement. I just got new shoes, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. But I'm not allowing any of it to, you know, drag me away. My emotions, my thoughts, all that shit to drag me away. No. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Proper meditation is simply becoming aware. And that's it. Keeping that separation. Holding that separation. A calm, neutral space, like I always say. That's all it is. Now... You could argue, well, that's not real meditation. It's not deep enough. It's not, you know, we're not in that transcendental state. Okay, I agree with that. There are different levels to this. Proper meditation is simply becoming aware, separating yourself. That's it. That is it, man. So, here's my advice to you. If you're just getting into meditation, which you damn well should be, it is a game changer for your life. It will absolutely change your life. You become aware of your thoughts. You become aware of the things that are running you, your subconscious programming. It's such a beautiful thing to finally see your true self. Like Bashar says, when you are in meditation, welcome home. This is your true essence. This is your absolute true essence. So, properly meditating. You can do this at work. You can do this walking around. You can do this in your home. So a lot of questions I get are, what if I miss my chance in the morning where, you know, you're just waking up, you're in that theta brainwave state, the, you know, chores of the day and all this stuff you have to do haven't really taken a hold of me yet, you know? And if I miss that chance, it's, I'm screwed. I can't sit in meditation. I'm too anxious. I'm too angsty. All that good stuff. There is never a better time to meditate than the time you choose. You have the ultimate power in all of this. And it goes without saying. If you wake up and you miss your chance, you can do it later in the day. You can even do your chores. You can drink some coffee and do it. All it is is making that separation happen. That's what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to cross the street. I'll be right back. All right. That's true meditation. Just the separation, the awareness, elevating to higher levels of consciousness. That is what meditation does. And there's no perfect time than when you choose. There is none. One of the best things that meditation taught me was that I am in control. I'm in control of my destiny, I'm in control of my life, my thoughts, my emotions, all that stuff. They are not in control. You cannot control them, but you can become separate. Therefore, you are in control. You know, the paradox of <laughs> our spiritual journey, there's so many. So, let's say you come home. You had a rough day, whatever it was work, kids were chaos, something happened, okay, and you're like, I'm going to meditate, you try to meditate, but it's not working, you're not having any success, the simple fact that you made the choice to do the meditation, even though you don't think you may have made any progress, you absolutely have by making that choice, in essence, that is quantum jumping. That is shifting timelines to a new 
you. That is the purpose of all of this. So I say this so many of my videos, I'm a broken record by now. Societal programming, programming from our parents, social media, the media, religion, schools. You want to separate from those beliefs, okay, and make your own way. That is the purpose of meditation for me on my journey. You might be different. You might have a completely different view on this. If you do, drop in the comments. I'll love to hear it. When you become the eye of the storm, that is meditation. You can go deeper as you get better at it, as it starts to get easier for you to uh, sit in that central space, that the eye of the storm. Then you can do shadow work. Okay? You can truly go in and shift your identity. You can manifest. Instant manifestation comes from within. I've been talking a lot about manifestation. It's a big buzzword right now. So, let's touch on that real quick. You are a master manifester. Meditation, affirmations, subliminals, all these tricks and tools that we have at our disposal, they're just tools. I want to share a story with you from uh, one of my clients. So, he struggles a lot with sexuality. He's struggling a lot with uh, addiction to porn, stuff like that. And we're working on his sacral chakra. We're working on finding what is happening within. This is something he has not tried to do yet at all. At all. So, all right, another street, going to cross it. So here was his big breakthrough. He began meditating specifically for his sacral chakra, focusing the energy there, okay, in complete awareness, in a meditative state. When we can hold a meditative state, we can go in and realign, balance, find out our blocks. What is holding us back? So he found that. I don't want to give away too much of his information. There was a past life where he is holding trauma from sexuality. And when he found this out, this is what he told me. The moment I found this out, everything changed. Because I placed my neutral awareness on it, I found it, and I allowed it to be, and made the choice that it is not my path. You see how that works? Simple awareness through a meditative state. That is proper meditation. You can do this within your first week of even trying meditation. A lot of people, when they first try to meditate, they want to control their thoughts. This is wrong. Just separate yourself from them and you'll be fine. Allow them to be. Just allow them to be. And through that awareness is where we change our lives. I could go on and on. Here's, here's the main point. When we ask, how do we properly meditate? The answer is when you choose to. As you continue to do it, you'll want to do more things. You want to make it more intense. You want to go deeper. That is what we need to do. Baby steps. Baby steps. I'm going to go this way. A lot of people that I've worked with, they want to go like hell bent. They want to go into the deep end, super fast, ancestral healing, shadow work, all that stuff, right off the bat. You can try. It works, it works. What I have found, most of the people I work with, it takes a little bit of time. You have to get through the muck a little bit. You have to get through the muck. Now, the surface level of properly meditating is stress relief, anxiety reduction. That is good stuff. And I coach that and I tell people to do that all the time. And eventually, they always want to go deeper because it is our essence. 
when you truly see this, when you see it, you can't deny it. You, you will love it and you want to go deeper into this abyss. Now, here's the hang up, fear, fear of the unknown. Let's talk about what the unknown is. <laughs> the unknown is just the unknown. That's it. Whatever you place there is creating the fear. You're afraid of something in the unknown, but the unknown is just the unknown. If you watch a movie, and it's a horror movie, and the whole movie's black, just black screen, that's it. Maybe a flashlight here, a flashlight there. It's a lot freakier than if you are actually seeing horror on the screen. Makeup, special effects, all that stuff. It's because the unknown to humans is much scarier. Now, realize that and surpass that fear. Make friends with your ego. It is not here to be denied or forgotten of or, you know, kill the ego, kill it. No, absolutely not. We want it. We want it. We need our ego. It helps us survive. But we need to find out what it believes. When we find that out, we can make changes. Then it's working in our favor and not against us, which most of us, like myself, love. It controls our lives. And it's really hard to get past that first little hump because it's always going to tell us things. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you do this, this might happen. And uh, uh don't do that because this might happen. You have to not listen to it. You have to know deep within, from a subconscious level, it's not real. It is not freaking real. Proper meditation is understanding that awareness is freaking king. It is king. Do that, my friend. Your life will change. Meditate whenever you want. It is the perfect time when you choose. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Grab the meditation. I have a free guided meditation in the bottom in the description. You'll dig it. You'll dig it. Inner sanctuary. It is, oh man. I've had so much success showing people this meditation because it will help you get over those humps. And the perfect time to use it is exactly when you choose. Peace.